Stretching along the wilder parts of the Atlantic coastline of Europe, from Scotland to Portugal, many varieties of seabird find a home here in internationally important numbers. Dr Ellie Owen is a scientist with the future of the Atlantic Marine Environment Seabird Tracking Project, working on the beautiful Hebridean island of Colonsay. Well, a lot of people will know that seabirds are declining and there are various reasons for that, but one reason which comes up time and time again is that the birds are not able to find the right food at the right time to successfully raise chicks. So we're really looking to try to find out what birds are feeding on, where they're feeding, and hopefully protect those resources. Seabirds nest in inaccessible environments, making it challenging for researchers to study them. We work on five species of seabirds in the UK part of the FAME project. That's kittiwakes, guillemots, razorbills, fulmers and shags. And we hope to catch some of those species at each of our five sites in the country. To understand more about the birds' movements, the researchers fit tiny trackers to the birds to allow them to follow their movements at sea. We use state-of-the-art tracking devices, a device that's similar to the, the car sat-nav that most people are familiar with, but obviously much smaller. We put those on the backs of the bird and they follow where the birds go to a very high degree of accuracy and we can find out exactly their movements are at sea. The team need to be highly skilled as they have to work quickly to allow the bird to return to its nest as quickly as possible. When we catch a bird, we first of all take some measurements and weigh the bird, and then we attach one of the devices. So we have either a device that goes on, on a small plastic ring on the leg, or some of our other devices are attached using waterproof tape to the feathers on the back. Each tag, which weighs only a few grams, stays on the bird for a few days to allow the team to extract more information about where the seabirds are going to feed. This information will help conservation groups know which areas may become marine protected areas. There's two elements of my job that I would say are my favourite parts of the job. The first is when I release a bird after tagging. I love that moment where you throw it up into the air and it flies off out into sea. And the second part of my job that I would say is a real favourite is when I plug the tag in and download the data. We're looking at how far birds have travelled and how often they go to the same areas and how long they're away from their nests. Lots of interesting details like that. But primarily we're looking at what makes these areas special where the birds are feeding. Protection of our marine environment lags infamously behind conservation on land and seabirds are the perfect example of this. So on land we've protected most of the important nesting colonies here in the UK, but at sea important feeding areas remain completely unprotected. Now the important piece of European legislation protecting birds and their habitats is the Birds Directive. And that's been in force now for 30 years and yet we still have no offshore marine protected areas conserving key foraging sites for our internationally important seabird colonies here in Britain. Now the FAME project shows that the RSPB and all the partner organisations across Spain, Portugal, France and Ireland are serious about being proactive in rectifying this situation. Now in the UK we hope particularly with the recently passed UK Marine and Coastal Access Act and the Marine Scotland Act that there's some real impetus behind marine conservation and that important offshore sites for our nationally and internationally important colonies are identified and formally protected. Knowing more about how these birds survive and where they go to feed is vital if we are to protect them for the future. During the three years of the project, the team hoped to track the movements of hundreds of seabirds, building a better understanding of what our seabirds need. Seabirds have inhabited the North Atlantic for millennia, and armed with better knowledge, conservationists hope to ensure these magnificent creatures will survive in their environment for many millennia to come.